Hi, I am doing my top 20 for Eurovision 224. There are a bunch of reasons why I'm doing top 20, not top, not top 37, but it's not my kind of speech to do. So, I'm just gonna put my top 20. I have here my list because I am basic like Shane and if you don't know Shane, Shane's Eurovision's review, whatever he's called there, I don't know, uh, gear. and yeah, because we're basic, I have a list, you cannot see now, but it's like this, and it starts from 20 until first place. I thought a lot because I literally leave behind 17 songs and this is frustrating leaving 70 songs because from 20 to 25, 20, 30 I have like songs that I listen to actually but I decided like let's keep it real okay make top 10 then I was thinking like top 10 is not working like top 10? top 10 is my winners so I need another 5 songs at least that I listen also so I made top 15 and after that I changed it and I was showering and I was listening to two songs for my number one I was thinking like no it's gonna be this one at my number one after that I was thinking like, no, actually it's gonna be this one at number one. <sighs> it's tough this year because there are so many songs. This is definitely my year. This is like upbeat, pop, like so great songs. And I can already say that I have a 21st place Armenia, which I really love. I really love the traditional traditionality of Armenia and it's my 21st place Armenia but I it sounds very bad when it's 21st but I do like the song a lot I really really do oh I'm not sharp anymore ah, no, I am. Uh, so I can drink before I do oh, this is always always tucking huh. mm. Mm. so at my 20th place, I have Portugal and Grito. Um, I love Yolanda. I like Yolanda a lot. I am for Portugal this year for choosing the song because we had a big lineup. We had many choices and I'm very happy that Grito won and I'm 100% hoping that Portugal will go to the final and actually it could, could do way better than 20th place but I'm not gonna justify my options and stuff I'm having my top 20, you will get along with it I don't mind it and you shouldn't mind it either 19th place I have Belgium and Musti Oh the party is over so yeah um, what can I say like Musti is great I can't wait for uh, to listen like in general his live performance to listen to him live we have not listened to all of the songs live so this is basically this thing this piece of paper is basically um, before rehearsals so this is like not prediction this is not how I predict Eurovision but this is how I hope Eurovision will be um, but yeah I just this is before rehearsals just my top 20. My number 18th is Malta and I got all for Sarah. You got me on loop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, I love Malta. I love Sarah Bonici. I love how I read that she also choreographed the whole songs. Um, and I am up for this. I love, love Malta and I'm hoping that people will vote for her I hope that she passes to the final number 17 I have Zora Zora um, yeah I love Zora I love Zora I love that I have it at number 17 it's a song that is definitely playing to the pre-parties. I was now in Sweden, it played, it was amazing how Paco went crazy for it. Like this even hyped me even more actually about it. 
Number 16, I have Norway. And, oh, Norway had so good options this year, like so many. Actually, the best, the my most favorite national finals that I have the most songs that I liked from a national final was Norway. And I have them on number 16th because I really believed in them. They have a performance of winning material. And when I say winning material, I mean winning Eurovision material they have. So yeah, number 16th is not bad, right? And number 15th, this is new and actually surprising for me. And I have Luxembourg with Tali and Fire. Oh, I will never let you down, I know, because I'm a fighter. <laughs> and we haven't listened to the new version of the song, but I am up for this. I like already the original version, so I would like for sure the revamped version. And it's on my number 15th, and if you don't like it, you can do nothing about it. Um, number 14th, and I hope it is it is gonna be even higher it's ireland and bambi thug and i love them the video clip is my most favorite video, video clip of this year's eurovision from all the video clips that we have seen ireland has the best video clip of the season and this song will make such a huge noise in eurovision and I'm glad that I'll see it also on the semi-final live because I'll be in the arena. And I can't wait to see even maybe Malta winning Eurovision. So yeah, that was Ireland. And I have number 13, Liar. Cyprus. <coughs> God. <coughs> oh, I'll die. Um, Cyprus I have and I love Liar, I love Celia Capsis, I like how basic it sounds, but also catchy, so I am not delusional, I know what kind of song it is, and I love it for everything that it is, I love the song. And it's my number 13, and I am listening to it a lot. So basically from 12th until 5th, I really, really love the songs. So my number 12 is Georgia and Nuta with the song Firefighter and I love the song. It's definitely one of my so one of the songs that I as a kid grew up with, this kind of songs. And I like Nuta. I am 100% sure that she will perform live very good vocally. I do find the lyrics a bit more, a bit too predictable. It's not that I don't find them predictable, but the song as a whole thing is amazing. And I can't wait how they make it on a live thing there. And I can't wait to see her in the rehearsal. And I wish that Georgia will qualify this year. Uh, number 11, surprise, surprise, I have UK. And this is for my kisses Spinning na 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 kisses I love this song, I love Oli I am... Um, I know how people are saying like I am disappointed in UK this year I am so not disappointed in UK this year like because this song is actually so good It's so catchy It doesn't have this Eurovision moment it's like very, it's there. It has everything that it needs to be a pop banger that people will listen to and will be replaying. This is a lot of alcohol, I think. Um, number 10, I have Netherlands. And boy, hope, 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 and then the part. This part. Um, yeah, that's literally my top ten, and this is my tenth place. And as a prediction, because this is favorite, but now as prediction, I can definitely predict um, Netherlands winning the televoting, right? This is like, let's not be delusional. This song is so, so taking your soul 
and pulling it out of your body when I listen to it and I know it's not the type of songs that I listen because but from watching Eurovision since 20 years, 22 years, I can definitely say that this song will do very good. I hope that the jury's wait, I, I think I sped it a bit here. No, I didn't. It's fine. Um I don't know how it will do in the juries. I can just say that juries we don't care about. It's like literally this song goes so so high in the televoting. It will do good on all the charts. It's already doing very good on the charts. Um, so number nine, I have Switzerland and Nemo with the code. Ah, oh, what can I say? Like this is amazing song, amazing production, amazing lyrics. I, on my reaction, I did not get the lyrics. So that's why I didn't talk about it so much about the lyrics and the deeper meaning. But I can tell you that now after listening so often to the song and reading so many stuff about the song and the lyrics, the song has so much message and so much deepness that I so wish that they will perform it, that they will perform it great on Eurovision so that it can actually be even probably winner, why not? On my number 8 I have La France and Slimane with um, Je pas pourquoi je la sens. Je peux ne rien rien. I like I don't know. I cannot sing it. I don't speak French. But of course it's the man. I mean, this is like the ballad. <coughs> Something is wrong with my. I think Shane is like cursing me from Italy. Um. Yeah, it's France. I love France. I love the song. Uh, Sliman proved that he is gonna show on the stage in Eurovision amazing performance. He could be the jury winner. Like, definitely see that coming. And it's one of my favorites since it's the first song I think that came and I am so listening to it. Like, since it came out, I'm following Sliman and I can't wait to see him being in the top 10, top 5, higher. Um, number 7 I have Yasam TC Veronica Whoa. Um, yeah, I have Slovenia and Raven and I am obsessed. Being in my 7th place is already great and if this song does not qualify, I am gonna, I'm gonna rip my skin off because I love this song so much that it's like, I cannot explain how much I like the song, how much I listen to it and that I can sing the whole lyrics. And now that I heard that she's gonna release a new version of it. So I'm like, why are you changing it? Like, I just learned it. And number six, I have... There was no going back. Whoa. I have Croatia. I mean, come on. It's... If the win of this year's Eurovision goes somewhere in the Balkans, it's gonna be Croatia. And I just want to see the staging. We have seen it on the national final. They will probably do something similar, but of course it needs improvements. I am not blind and I can see that, but still, the song of the song, I mean, come on, this is like screaming winner. And yeah, that's why it's like, I'm on. And now I go to my top five. Wait, I need to drink out. So, wait. Oh, oh. So, on my fifth place, I have Italy. Oh, I love this. La noia. La noia. 
la noia they played it in sweden at the pre-party and i was dancing my ships off uh, i love i love italy i love la noia i love mix mango and i could definitely see those as a winner like basically my top five i can see as winners being like i wouldn't mind if italy wins even though it's at my fourth place i absolutely love the song this is like amazing song so lovely from italy i have on my fourth place my country and then that's greece and that's zari and that's marina sati and you better vote for it steffi i'm looking at you you vote for it and yeah it's zari it's like what to say this is an ethnic banger this is what i expected personally from greece years and years in a row this is and they sent marina sati which i know which i love and i i will i will be there like sending 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 sending, sending messages for marina sati i love greece is my number fourth and i am hoping that it could also win because i can be next year in athens in eurovision and i have many friends and i don't need to pay much money so yeah Vote for Greece. And number three is Finland and Windows 95 Man with Henry and No Rules. It's how I live, how I live. That's how I learn to fly. Oh, my list. Um, yeah, it's Finland. I do not feel embarrassed for it. Finland is in a second row in my top five. Last year it was also. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see this live. I can't wait to see it on the semi-final. I can't wait to see it on the final. It's my wholesome song. It's a song that has message. It has a song that is funny. It's a song that you can hear it in a club and you can sing it along and you can learn it very quickly so try that out if you don't know the song number two oh my number two and my number one i was like so like before i press like to start filming i was thinking like no it's gonna be this one and then i was thinking like no it's gonna be this one no it's gonna be this one so i changed them all the time but it's my number two and it's basically like my winner and that's of course a lithuania and look there look there look there i am obsessed i am obsessed uh, I checked on my Spotify how many times I heard the song since it's out, since it won the national final, and I can I have listened to it until now 750 times, which is more than what I listened to Slow Mo for this amount of time. So this means a lot, and Slow Mo was my winner from two years ago. So yeah, this is like look tell I will be there. I want Sylvester Belt to win even if it's possible. I would love Lithuania to win Eurovision with a song like this because it's amazing. So my number one is a song that I didn't mention and probably a lot of you will think about like yeah he didn't mention this, this is probably gonna be his number one and it's Australia. I'm kidding. It's not Australia. Australia is like, uh, I think 26th it was on my uh, tops. It's Austria. It's Austria. But I said Australia because when I wrote on my list, I wrote Australia and I was very confused. I was like, oh no, why did, I don't know. So it's Austria. It's like, we will rave and she will rave. And I am basic, as I said at the beginning of the video, and I love my how basic I am, but I love myself. Like, if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? So, that's why I love Austria. I hope this song wins. I hope that we have a pop winner finally and nothing in between because we have had the last year's only winners that I didn't want to be win. I had them in my top five, but I always wanted that pop song to win. 
And the last song that won, a pop song, was like, I don't know, was it like, it was Toy. It was Toy from Neta. So I would really like if Kaleen would win and she would be there standing with the crown. No, there's no crown. With the scepter or whatever they give there. And we all rave with her. I want to rave. I want to rave as a winning song. And that's why my number one is this. So, I am done with my list. No, I'm not done. I'll need it for editing the video. And my drink is over. If your drink is over because I'm talking too much. And even my spit is like running out. I don't know if it's shown in the videos. <sighs> there are a lot of videos coming from me yet. Like, I am going to the Barcelona pre-party. I'll probably do videos about that and say about how the artist sang. And, oops, I had a hoopsa. And how the artists sang, and how the artists have been live, and if I have a change, if someone was not so good and someone was better, we always have that. But yeah, I am sorry for the songs that I didn't mention, and uh, but I didn't mention them because like, oh, I don't have a good excuse about that. It's just like that. I have my top twenty. I am not good at serious talks. I'm good only when I, I'm right about stuff, but I just want to end the video now. <laughs>